Uh, what's going on guys? So today I'm back with the Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and we've made a lot of changes to this team. Well, you guys have already seen those changes, my bad. I forgot that I made that video. Um, we picked up that Dermani, Dermani Dawson like we wanted to. Um, I do believe that's... Oh, we picked up the Vic. Um, we bought him for about 280, 275. We got the Dermani Dawson for... I think I sniped him for like 120, 130. Something like that. Um, we also sold Lawrence Taylor, picked up the Sean Lee. And I think that's all for the improvements for the team. But we are, for the next player that we are going to pick up, we're going to pick up the 99 Larry Allen. Um, I've been working on those solo challenges on my other account. I have two sets of them left, so about 32 of them. Um, they should be done tomorrow or today, sometime then. But we are going to pick up the um, 99 Larry Allen. Sell uh, this Chester dude. Then we will have a pretty monstrous offensive line. I've already played one game with this team, how it is right now. And I'm telling you, this team blocks like crazy. It's insane how well this team blocks. Um, But yeah, I think that we have a couple new cards that came out yesterday or the day before. Let me check my, let me check my head real quick just to make sure though. Alright guys, so yes, we did have a card that came out yesterday. Well, a couple of them. Um, I'm going to show you guys the set real quick, then we will take a look at the players. Alright, for you Bengals fans, it's finally a good Andy Dalton in the game. I used his 93 card, it was pretty good, um, right around the time that Andrew Luck and Andy Dalton came out, but then I sold Andy, Dal Andy Dalton, got the Andrew Luck. Um, Derek Wolf also has a new card. We'll take a look at um, Andy Dalton's stats after we take a look at all these cards. So, Derek Wolf's going about 80k. Um, I don't know if he's selling for that, that's just... Nah, that he's up for right now. He's got an 88 speed, 99 strength, 95 acceleration, 99 tackling, 99 blo uh, block shedding. My bad. It's like 5:50 in the morning. Um, 84 power move, 63 finesse, 90 play rec. Um, he looks like a pretty solid left end, but comparing him to uh, Jason Taylor, actually, this Derek Wolf beats him in almost everything. It's just Jason Taylor is a monster. He's got 99 finesse move too, so. I like finesse dudes on the outside. Um, Jason Taylor is a monster for me. He's got 90 speed, 99 finesse, 90 play rec. He's got 97 excel. Um, he really doesn't miss tackles or anything, so that 87 tackle doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's the Derek Wolf card. The next card that we're going to be looking at is Tony Jefferson. Um, he is going for about 50k right now. Uh, he's got a 93 speed, 96 excel, 76 play rec, 82 tackling, 90, 90 man coverage, 89 zone, 90 pursuit, and 95 hit power. So this is a strong safety that you could actually... He'll do okay at corner, but he's 5'11". Uh, some corners are 5'11", so I mean, I'm not going to take that away from anything. He might be a beast. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's got 90 man and 89 zones. So if you guys want to throw him at a corner, you could, I guess. Um, next card is Marcus Gilbert. He's going for about 30, uh, 25k. I thought 37 was the uh, least amount up. 98 strength, 85 awareness, 72 agility, 66 speed, 82 excel, 92 run block, and 95 pass blocking with a 92 impact. Um, I don't know. There's definitely some beastie offensive linemen in the game for pretty cheap right now. Um, especially at the right tackle position. I think that you can get a 96 overall right tackle for about 20k so I don't think that many people will be using that card Willie Sneed also got a new card right here he's going for 16k 96 speed 96 catching 90 elusiveness 88 click, uh, spectacular catch 92 release 80 route running damn that route running is terrible he's got some trash route running 99 catching traffic and 95 jumping um I mean slot receiver all day I mean He's going to be going up against the linebackers, so that route running might not matter, but he definitely can't spectacularly catch, so he's 5'11", so yeah, definitely a slot receiver for Willie Sneed. Um, stacking him up to Dez Bryant right here. Dez Bryant pretty much shits on him except for speed. He loses one in speed and one less for Willie Sneed in catching, and he actually has Dez B by two in catching traffic, so... And this Dez card is a monster. I had this card already before, but I had to sell him, and then I just got him back. And I'm pretty excited to have him back on the squad. 
Um, I was thinking actually about picking up Megatron also, so let me know if you guys want to see Megatron on the team. It'll be the 98, I don't have enough coins to record that, the, uh, boss, um, boss Megatron or anything, but the next card is to hear Whitehead. I don't know how, if that's how you say his name or not, but that's how I'm saying it, so he's got 91 speed, 81 strength, 96 excel, 96 tackling, 87 play rec, 86 block shed, 98 pursuit, and 88 hit power. What's his zone coverage? I like zone coverage for my linebackers, so. He's got an 87 zone. Let's compare him to uh, Peter Bulwer real quick. Let's uh, see what Peter Bulwer's zone is. And I hate when they're off the key, so. Oh, actually, they might have been. Yeah, see, Peter Boyer only has a 70, uh, 75 zone coverage, so, I mean, this card might be a monster, he's got a 91 speed, uh, he can play some zone, so, it's a pretty good looking card if I do say so myself. Um, we're gonna go ahead and look at this Andy Dalton real quick, and then we'll do it, go ahead and get on out of here. Alright, so there is two Andy Daltons up for about 250k, I'm gonna look at his price on my head real quick, uh, just to see what he's actually selling for, so I can give you guys a good, um, good price. So actually, guys, about two hours ago, he did actually sell for 250k. Um, so that's pretty surprising, because Carson Palmer wasn't even that much up in price. The first day that he came out, and Andy Dalton's really not that more different than Carson Palmer. I think actually Carson Palmer is better than Andy Dalton. Um, but yeah. Andy Dalton has an 84 speed, 89 awareness, 99 throw power, 99 short, 96 mid, 95 deep, 85 play action, and 91 throw on the run. We're going to compare him to Vic. He just shits on Vic. I mean, everybody shits on Vic just because of his quote-unquote bad accuracy. I mean, Vic has always had like good accuracy whenever I've watched him, so I don't understand what these stats mean, but um, that's kind of how he stacks up against Vic. Um, yeah. His hair matches the card. So, I mean, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you guys are new, subscribe. And thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace out.